Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 9th, 2021. So today we have Phantom Quartz, Embrace Change and Agate, Get Back Into Balance. So two very powerful messages and again, this is the focus for today. Where can you allow yourself to be more in alignment? Be balanced, make some time for this, whether that's chakra balancing, chakra healing, uh, healing and balancing your aura, you know, whatever you believe in, take some time with that. If you are somebody who is coming here, you know, angels unite. So I have people here from every religious background, every kind of belief system. And even if your belief system doesn't have angels in it, which I would be very shocked because every belief system has some form of angelic presence, whether they call it angels or not, you know, it differs. But um, you know, everybody who comes here with whatever background, just tune into the peace and the harmony and the love and let that imagine yourself, uh, being in alignment with light. Okay. So wh whatever background you come from, you can do that. But this phantom quartz, I always say this whenever this card comes out because we can't overlook the word phantom. Now the card says embrace change, but when we say change, what happens to you? <laughs> what do you feel? What starts to occur for you? What kind of shift begins? It is almost as if there is this phantom self that starts to get expelled. This is the, can I use the word inorganic part that has been implemented into us. This part, it's all um, false thinking, false beliefs about yourself, you know, all of that. It could be this other person almost. I know that's a weird way to put it, but what, however you want to see it, it's this part of you that's now leaving and going into the light. People will resist this. We do talk about ego death, but ego death, you know, I, my understanding of it and my experience of it, everyone has a different opinion about that. But um, the ego death is also layers of you kind of <laughs> transforming. <laughs> like we don't want to say death all the time, right? So transforming, going away, being transmuted, going into the light. But this is more, you know, ego death is more about layers of you. This is layers of something that's not you. That's the phantom. That's the thing that's going. And this is where you suddenly have spontaneous healing. Oh yes. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a doctor. These videos are not a replacement for advice from a professional, but spiritually speaking, you regain your energy. You regain like some part, like <laughs> you have more room to be you. Let's put it that way. Yes. Without all that junk in there. Okay. So that's part of getting back into balance. Let's see what the cabochons are here. Yeah. You open the pathway to abundance. Look at that. And longing. <laughs> what are you longing for? Healing. Ooh, we got to stop with Raphael. Okay. So Archangel Raphael is about healing the physical body, the mental body, your emotions, all that good stuff, but really, really deep healing in the heart chakra. What this will do. So if you want to meditate with Archangel Raphael today, remember you have to invite them in. Okay. I think there are TV shows that have done that with like vampires. I know, I don't watch those things, but people always make reference to that. I'm like, what? <laughs> It's a joke that's lost on me about, anyway, explain it down below if you know what I'm talking about, about them needing permission to come in. But anyway, Archangel Raphael helps to reset. He's actually coming in and saying, let me, you know, help you reset your heart back to like, I want to say like me as a human, I always say factory settings. No, but like going back to the original way that your heart was meant to be, the way it was meant to beat, the light it was meant to emanate. It's, it's like Grand Central Station, your heart. Yes, this is, <laughs> this is where all the energy comes through. And when we get bombarded with, you need to be this. This is how you live a good life. If you haven't accomplished this, then you're nobody. Look at where that has gotten us. The pressure of that. Where privileged people are doing shady things. You know what I'm talking about, okay? But why would it even matter? If it didn't matter, the labels we put on things, again, I'm being very vague on purpose here. Um, if we didn't put so much emphasis on 
credentials, okay? Now, I know you might be like, that's stupid, Michelle. You need credentials to know that somebody knows what they're talking about. But if they're not really earned, you're going to see more of this, guys. <laughs> 2022, you're going to see more of this. If they're not really earned, they're not really experts, okay? You feel me? I could go forever on that topic, but I'll spare you. Point is, learn to trust the information that's coming through you, but you need to be a clear conduit for that. So when we talk about uh, inviting Archangel Raphael in and restoring our heart, in a way, understand I'm, I'm still a human just understanding this inf information myself, but the way I want to interpret this is that there's this feeling here that we will be tapped into a field where there is unlimited understanding. And yes, the knowledge is there, but it doesn't have that much importance. It's not like how we function here on the earth with our brains. If I know more than you, then I'm more valuable than you and I get to have more power and I get to have more comforts and I get to have, well, they say less stress and worry, but I've never seen a person who's like a high level in whatever field be stress-free. <laughs> Though they'll try to make you believe that on those YouTube commercials. Have you seen it? Okay, anyway, <laughs> but we will be tapped into information and understanding. Now, here is where we get into trouble. This is where people in the spiritual community want to use that to have power over others. I tap into, but okay, as soon as you're taking that town with me, no, <laughs> back off, please. No, <laughs> we can't use it. Um, I don't want to say, uh, okay, hang with me as I try to explain this. We don't want to use it to have power over other people. But if you get into this clear space and you have an understanding of your deeper purpose your purpose is not your career that's some 2012 stuff right there okay it's not your career that might be one part of it it's how you express every day it's your surface level contribution but when you tap into this wider field that deeper understanding of why you as a soul decided to come in here now you bring that information in and now you show up in whatever capacity helps you to accomplish that. This is where we see people hopping out of careers or, you know, maybe giving up a high power position to be a farmer. <laughs> we hear those kinds of examples all the time, right? Or somebody who wants to, you know, I, I, who was it? There was, I don't remember her name, but I think, I hope I'm not getting this story mixed up, but there was somebody who left like a high power corporate job, right? Which corporate jobs are ones that, you know, people put a lot of, they put it on a pedestal, right? Like that you're the person who's doing life right kind of thing. So this person left a job like that and went off and started making baby clothes or something, took the business know-how and created something brand new. Not the baby clothes are brand new. The way they're doing it is brand new, right? So this is that kind of energy that we have going on here. This is that deeper understanding that comes from healing the heart, a lot of things open when we heal the heart. Archangel Uriel, your strength, your courage, your compassion. Your compassion. That was a slip. This is actually passion, but I said compassion. That's Raphael bringing us back <laughs> and saying, um, tapping into this expanded awareness and this deeper understanding of your consciousness is going to, yeah, oh gosh. Okay, so we're in a society with broken empathy. That's not breaking news for anybody. We're also in a society filled with enablers. Oh, they didn't mean it. Well, maybe they just did, 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 and they're making excuses for people's bad behavior. This is that kind of thing by nurturing, that's Gabriel, right? Giving birth to a new, you know, giving birth to change, I would say, is through Archangel Gabriel. But when we tap in, we start to open our compassion. Empathy can be healed. Now, I don't know how that is. Yeah, they're saying through restoring. It can be restored. But someone has to choose it. You know what I mean? They have to choose it. And you have to do it for the greater good, not for selfish reasons. Okay? So we're going to leave it there. I hope that made some sense. But yeah, again, this is going to open up the abundance and let go of the longing. 
the longing's not serving you. <laughs> the longing is putting a desperate energy around what you're trying to accomplish, okay? If you are longing for someone, let's say a love partner or what have you, or even like you miss a friend, all of that, you know, we are more connected now than we ever have been. So instead of putting yourself in the longing energy, pick up the phone. Unless they told you not to call them, then leave them be. But <laughs> no, even if you feel like there's something like you want to clear the air, um, just try, you know, or maybe send a text or an email or something. Just try to open the door a little bit. That way you can let go of this energy because it's going to be blocking your abundance if you're not careful. Okay, so that was just a little bonus thing at the end. So <laughs> we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.